Hey, it's Mike, and today I'm going to actually do my first Traxxas video. Um, I plan to just do videos on how to maintain your Traxxas. It's a slash 1 16th scale. I know there's a lot of them for the slash 1 10th scale, but I haven't found many for the 1 16th scale. So, let's begin. First of all, um, I'm going to show what tools you'd probably want to have. Because these here are the stock tools. You have the 4-way wrench. You have... You have the four hex wrenches. Um, they work. They're a little hard to work with, so I like to use. Uh, I got, got, went to Home Depot and got myself um, a little thing with, uh, multiple, with a lot of wrenches. And also, I have this from my dad's workshop. And I got one of these, which is basically just a gripper, so sometimes you, if you might be working with something, you might need um, more than one hand, so you have this, which is nice. And tweezers, because sometimes you need to reach into a small place and grab something. Okay, so first thing I'm going to show basically what you want to do after using your Traxxas every time. It's just a small cleaning. Um, first, you probably want to blow it. It's best to blow it off with the air compressor. I do that after every single run. I just take the air compressor, blow, blow, just blow through the uh, all the holes everywhere. You can blow. Uh, uh, you can blow like here. You want to blow in there. Uh, right in the underneath the tires, under the motor. Uh, in the battery casings, right in there, because some of the stuff gets in there and the battery gets all dirty and yucky. Uh, just take an air compressor and just blow up, blow the whole truck off. Um, then that's pretty much all you want to do. That's all you need to do uh, after every run. Um, but from time to time, what you want to do is you want to take off all the wheels and soak them in water. Uh, just to rinse them a little bit, and then also, especially if you're running it in a muddy place, uh, what happens is that there's these little air holes inside on the wheels, which uh, allow uh, water air to pass in and out. Uh, but they also allow water to go in and out, and other disgusting stuff. So it's just good to sometimes wash them off a little bit. As you see, I just have like a little bowl of water which I use and just squeeze it, get all the water out from inside, and just place it over to dry. Um, I do that with all the wheels after almost every run. Not every run, but most of the time. Um, so, yeah. Then, less often, what you want to do is to take off the uh, assemblies, the uh, wheel assembly, the whole uh, wheel assemblies just to clean them up a little bit uh... that because they get dirty and um... It then you just want to do the same thing just take it off and rinse it a little bit in a bowl of water Also, something that I like to do, not every every single run, but especially, but more quite often, especially if it's muddy, is I will go here. I'll take the I take these panels off, and also actually make, also always make sure that these screws you don't tighten them too far, otherwise you'll mess up the head and then you won't be able to take it out. I've done that before, right there. So I'll come back to you when, once all these panels are off. Okay, so this is what it'll look like once you have these three panels off. This one's the front one, this one's the center one, and that one is the back one. Um, so you'll see you have the center drive shaft. Uh, it's always good to clean that. My, I cleaned mine really recently. 
um, but uh, a lot of the time if you're driving in mud or something, uh, you'll end up with a lot of grit and disgusting stuff here. So a really good way to get that off is to just plug it in, turn it on. Take a wet paper towel. and just run the motor and just run the paper towel along the drive shaft because that just all the grits gets all out of the paper towel it's there's something there now because i just cleaned it um but that's just a nice thing to do then also what happens i should turn it off now looks like it's Also, a, um, this is what happens when you over tighten your drive sh your uh, screw heads because then they get stuck and you can't take them out, and they just to drill it off. So you have to take the thing off. Um, especially for this panel here, it's always a good idea to just leave the screws inside of it and not not, not actually take them out once you take the panel off, um, because as you can see, there's different uh, uh, length screws which go in different places. Uh, if you want to take them out, just remember where they go so that you don't mess up because later then they might not go in easily and then just put these to the side now so from here uh, the pro what happens a lot of the time is that the ball these all these balls here they get really dirty especially when you're driving it in rougher terrain uh, so what I like to do is I, I like q-tips a lot because they can they're relatively small and they can reach a lot of places uh, sometimes if it's a bigger one, you can just pull off the edge, the end, so that you have a smaller uh, Q-tip. Uh, then you just dip it in water, and I just run through all of these places here just to get all the grit off of the balls well, that run it. And here, that, just everywhere. And then you'll see the Q-tip actually gets quite dirty. Okay, that's that. Um, then, what happens also, you do want to do the same thing with a Q-tip. Uh, clean out this area right here, because otherwise what happens is, this has happened to me quite a bit, uh, this, get, this gets dirty, especially when you're running it in mud, and uh, then what happens is it provides a lot of um, resistance for the servo, and then the servo's gears start getting stripped, I have two examples. This is the bottom gear of the servo, like another video explaining how to change them. But if you can see, it's right here. It's stripped. It's uh, basically just the gear is completely stripped, and um, you have to change the gear because otherwise the servo doesn't work at all. It skips and then it starts doing weird stuff. Um, so that's pretty much all of the basic tracks is cleaning. Um, that you probably want to do that pretty much after every run clean off this center drive shaft here. Um, that's pretty much it. Okay. Bye.